Welcome to my uh, presentation on the tenant serve, a qualitative anatomical analysis. My name is Kevin Klein, and this is Biomechanics HM503 of the ATSU Human Movement Program. The importance of the serve. The serve is the most complex stroke in the competitive and non-competitive world of tennis. The complexity of the movement results from the combination of limb and joint movements required to summate and transfer forces from the ground up through the kinetic chain and out into the ball. The fastest and most powerful servers maximally utilize the entire kinetic chain through proper muscle synchronization and coordinated lower and upper body segments. Types of serves. The flat serve or a limited spin serve, a slight serve or a side spin, top spin, or as they call it, a kick serve. And for the purpose of this analysis, the flat serve was used. The foot up technique for foot position, or the foot back technique, as seen in the photo next to the uh, text. And in the video analysis, the tennis pro used the foot back technique. Biomechanical analysis to improve your training. Three distinct phases, preparation, acceleration, and follow-through phases. Eight-stage model from the start, release, loading, cocking, acceleration, contact, deacceleration, and finish. Joint and muscle involvement of upper and lower body segments. Here we watch a quick video of uh, Milos Srinic, uh, an ATP Touring Pro from Canada, and it's showing uh, his second fastest serve at 150 miles per hour. So watch here, serve to an ace. Serving to uh, Andy Roddick from the U.S. is one that has, actually has one of the fastest serves in tennis as well. Now we'll get to see it in slow motion. There's speed at 150 miles per hour. Slow motion, going through all the phases, preparation, acceleration, follow through, and uh, that's the that's the video. For the purpose of my analysis, uh, I was able to uh, get together with our assistant pro at the Glenco Club, Dietmar Rottenbach, and uh, through my qualitative anatomical analysis, I will be looking through the temporal phases and stages, the anatomical joint motions muscle contractions, rapid joint accelerations, and impacts, and extreme joint ranges of motion. Dietmar's tennis serve from the anterior portion. Sorry I was un unable to turn the videos at 90 degrees. So I have it looping here showing all the phases, preparation, acceleration, follow through, start release, loading and caulking, phase of the preparation, and then the acceleration speed and contact of the acceleration phase, and then the follow through. And then uh, a look at Dietmar from the right. Again, right hand showing all the preparation. Preparation, acceleration, and follow through. Slowing through the range of motion. Hopefully, it'll get going here quickly. Not sure why it's stopping. Computer's working a little extra right now. Right as we go through. Good. And then from the left side, Dietmar's tennis serve from the left power straight through. It's very, very quick through the phases. Pretty hard to see them unless you slow them down. Really quick. Preparation, acceleration, follow through. Very nice. So temporal phases and stages. The preparation. Preparation phase. 
the start, the first sign of movement, the release from start until ball toss initiated, the loading, release stage until fully loaded leg position, and then the cocking, the loading stage until max shoulder external rotation. We show Dietmar here in a start position, moving into the kind of loading phase, cocking phase of the of the preparation. Continuing the temporal phases and stages, we have it continues here. Sorry for the pause. There they are. The acceleration, speed, end of the cocking phase until contact. The contact, ball and racket contact. And then the follow through, which is the Z deceleration, finish of the upper and lower body de deceleration, and the finish uh, moment in time from deceleration until the next shot. And Dietmar here setting their acceleration phase and finishing off in the follow through phase. Joint motions. From the ankle, we have the preparation. There's no motion to bilateral ankle dorsiflexion and lee leggy eversion. Acceleration, full plantar flexion, and follow through lee leg dorsiflexion, trail leg plantar flexion, and lee leg inversion. With the knee, we have the preparation. No motion to close kinetic chain bilateral knee flexion. Acceleration, bilateral knee extension and follow through, closed kinetic chain, lead knee flexion, and open kinetic chain, trail knee flexion. Continuing the joint motions, we have the hip preparation, no motion to lead hip internal rotation and trail hip external rotation, and bilateral hip flexion. In the acceleration, we have bilateral hip extension, and follow through, lead leg, hip flexion and internal rotation, and trail leg hip extension and external rotation. The shoulder in the preparation plays, phrase is bilateral shoulder flexion and abduction, racket shoulder full external rotation, acceleration, toss shoulder extension and adduction, racket shoulder abduction and in internal rotation, and the follow through racket shoulder full internal rotation. With the elbow, we have preparation, toss arm elbow extension, Racket, arm, elbow flexion, and supination. Acceleration, toss arm, elbow flexion. Racket, arm, elbow extension, and pronation. And follow through bilateral elbow flexion. Continuing on with the wrist in the preparation phase. Toss arm, wrist flexion. Racket, arm, wrist extension, and radial deviation. Acceleration, racket, arm, wrist flexion, and ulnar deviation. And follow through racket, arm, full wrist flexion. Rivastilla Dietmar. So the active muscle groups and muscle contractions in the preparation. In the start, we have the tibialis anterior, quadriceps, hamstrings, glute maximus and medius, deltoids, and the forearm flexors and extensors all in isometric contraction. In the release phase, the tibialis anterior, quadriceps, hamstrings, hip flexor, glute max and medius, deltoid, rotator cuff, and forearm flexors all in concentric action. To continue on in the preparation, the loading and caulking phases, tibialis anterior and eccentric, quadricep and the eccentric contraction, hamstring, concentric contraction, pulling yourself down into the, into the loading and caulking, hip flexors, glute max, both in eccentric contraction, deltoids in the concentric action as the hand goes over the head, pectorals major and minor in the eccentric contraction, latissimus dorsi in the concentric action, Triceps eccentric action, biceps concentric action, holding, pulling the sh hand back and elbow back over the shoulder, rotator cuff in the concentric, and, ro fo and forearm flexors in the concentric action as well. As we continue down through the uh, acceleration phase, the acceleration and speed, uh, acceleration speed and contact, uh, gastrocnemius, concentric action, the quadriceps, hamstrings, hip flexors, glute max, and deltoids all in concentric action, and then continue with the upper body, the pectorals major, minor, latissimus dorsi, triceps, rotator cuff, and forearm flexors in concentric action as well. In the 
fall through the deceleration and finish with the tibialis anterior and the quadriceps in eccentric contraction, the hamstrings again in concentric action, hip flexors, glute max, both in eccentric contraction, deltoid and pectoralis major, uh, deltoid in concentric contraction, pectoralis major in eccentric contraction, Sesmus dorsi, dorsi concentric, triceps eccentric, biceps concentric, and rotator cuff and forearm flexors in concentric contraction. Rapid acceleration or impact. Uh, through the preparation phase, there was not applicable to the acceleration or, or, or any rapid acceleration through that phase. In the acceleration phase, we have the quadricep concentric contraction, shoulder internal rotation, abduction, extension, tricep extension, and maximal wrist flexion with the racket and ball contact force. And with the fall through, we have the hamstrings on the ground impact, as well as the hip flexors and internal rotators, rotators with the ground impact as well. Active muscles to produce major forces, quadriceps, glute max, pectoralis major, and the subscapularis of the shoulder, position of limbs to produce forces, partial knee flexion, full hip extension, maximal shoulder horizontal adduction, and maximal shoulder internal rotation. Major muscle groups that are tested were for, we would test for quadricep power, pectoralis major strength, and rotator cuff stability and major muscles to be trained would be the quadriceps in a squat or lunge motion, pectoralis major in the chest presses motion and, or exercises, and subscapularis in band internal rotation, and the supraspinatus in shoulder abduction external rotation. Extreme joint range of motion in preparation phase, full racket shoulder external rotation, full lumbar spine extension. In acceleration phase, the full lead foot plantar flexion and full racket shoulder internal rotation and in the follow through we get a lead leg hyperextension in terms of the landing. The extreme joint range of motion, the tissue stretch to the deep shoulder stabilizers, the abdominal trunk flexors, deep neck flexors and knee, and knee extensors. Tissues possibly injured would be the rotator cuff musculature, the quadratus lumborum of the lower back, scalenes and trapezius of the neck, and the knee ligaments and meniscus of the, of the knee joint. Mobility exercise impl implementation for the extreme joint range of motion would be shoulder range of motion, thoracic spine rotation, and hip full mobilization and ankle mobility as well. Flexibility exercise implementation would be the hamstring and low back with the chest and latissimus lengthening. So our Dynamic tennis serve is served to win matches. The most important stroke in the game of tennis for determining the outcome of the match. Most important phases and stages. Uh, preparation and loading cocking phase, which creates maximal external rotation for power. Mac and then the, or the acceleration phase, which is maximal leg and hip drive for strong serve. Key joints, racket arm shoulder joint. Focus for prehabilitation exercises to avoid injury. Strong muscle action, powerful quadricep musculature, stable rotator cuff complex, and major chest muscle group strength. Train first mobility, then flexibility. Proper shoulder, thoracic spine, hip and ankle mobility. With lower body flexibility, the gastrocnemius, soleus, hamstring, piriformis, hip flexor and quadricep. And upper body flexibility, the pectoralis major minor, uh, latissimus dorsi, abdominals, and deltoids. So we'll look here at the dynamic tennis serve again through your phases, preparation phase in the top, acceleration phase, and the follow through and some still shots. And the references listed here in the back, a couple, couple great articles as well as the uh, YouTube video of Milos Renich with his fastest serve. I'd like to thank you for uh, watching my presentation and uh, I really enjoy doing it and I do look forward to uh, watching your presentations. So uh, take care.